sisters. This is MKU YCS Thika, and today we have another topic to discuss about discernment in our lives. Before I start, give my colleague a chance, I will introduce myself. My name is Faith Mwangi, and he's going to do the same, introducing the topic, and we are going to progress. Welcome, colleague. Thank you so much, uh, Faith. Uh, my name is Isaac Twala. And uh, today, yes, indeed, as uh, she has just mentioned, we are going to discuss about uh, discernment in our lives. We as youths. We know that uh, religious uh, group, vocational, uh, voc as a vocational, to say, uh, you find that uh, uh, priests, reverend sisters, and brothers, they take time for discernment for their vocation. Now, we as youths, do we usually uh, take time to seek for discernment from God in our lives? That is what we are going to discuss today. Now, to continue with that, I'd like to mention that we as youths, we are in a critical step that we need God in our lives. We need God in our lives to walk with us through, be it academically, be it spiritually, be it socially. Remember, we need to lay, this is a critical step in which if we mess, you find that in future you, you have already gone astray, be it socially, be it spiritually, be it career-wise. That is why we need discernment from God. Uh, Twala, we have various ways in which we go through discernment. Mm -hmm. Can you introduce us to those ways? Um, how, what are the aspects in life? Mm -hmm. uh, should we have discernment in our life? Uh, in whatever that we do, uh, be it academic, be it uh, spiritually, be it socially, we need to invite God in our lives. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do, before you make that decision, please allow God to guide you through. So that in whatever that step that you make in life, be it career-wise, be it socially, be it spiritually, you find that it's God who has, who has guided you all through your next move. So once you do that, trust me, you'll never go wrong. And how do we introduce discernment in our social lives how should what should we go to okay what extent should we go to or what should we do to make sure we discern properly before, before making a decision it's a simple thing what we can do we as youth mm -hmm. is to first of all to lay a strong foundation in our lives a christian foundation in our lives so from there once we have laid a strong foundation a strong Christian foundation, a spiritual foundation in our lives, you find that now it's easy for you to, uh, to, to design yourself or to seek God to guide you all through. Now, career wise, mm -hmm. remember before you join, you chose your course that you're doing like currently, you, you are praying hard so that God to enable you to do the course that you're pursuing now. Mm -hmm. Now ask yourself, did you for God to now continue asking God to continue with you in that in your journey of studies? You still need God in your studies. Now spiritually, remember we need to lay a strong foundation so that and this will secure your generations to come. Let's we as youth ignore. So uh, let's we as youth uh Let's avoid ignorance in our lives. You know, sometimes most of the youths, they tend to embrace ignorance in their lives concerning spirituality or Christianity. And that's it dangerous. So we like, we like to encourage the youth to uh, lay a strong foundation, a Christian, strong Christian foundation, so that they understand uh, why they should praise God, why they should go to church, why they should worship God, and uh, to know more about God. 
so that in future when they, you become a mom or dad, you will be in a position to explain to your children why they should go to church, why they should worship God, why they need God in their lives. Because by then, you as well, you have known. You let, since you laid a strong a Christian or spiritual foundation. So by so doing, you find that uh, you limit so many things in future. If you are a strong Christian, you know that, for example, spiritually, you know that a spiritual, uh, sorry, socially, what does the Bible say? The Bible says, for example, if remember, the main uh, theme was uh, laying a strong foundation in your life for discernment, right? Christian foundation in your life. Now, socially, what does the Bible say? Remember, since you are laying a strong foundation in your mind, you'll be thinking that you'll have that uh, in mind that separation or divorcement is not a good thing because what does the Bible says? Malachi chapter 2, verse 16. It says that I, the Lord, ate divorce. The Lord of Israel ate divorce. So, since you have a strong foundation, Christian foundation in your mind, you will do all that you need as a Christian to ensure that uh, your relationship works very well and that should begin from even choosing your life partner because you invited God to guide you in choosing your partner and let maybe, maybe God uh, show you the, showed you the way the person maybe and you are in a relationship so you do what as a Christian from the Christian point of view and you find that you won't have, uh, have so many challenges yes that is social human being a human being is a social uh, being yes um spirituality is of great significance mm -hmm. but do people play a role in the discernment we make should we include them are they of great importance in this journey to some extent yes it depends on uh, the kind of friends that you have mm -hmm. so you remember if you have good friends in your surrounding will also kind of synergize mm -hmm. uh, how, how strong you become as a Christian. Mm -hmm. So in one way or the other, they contribute you for you gaining that strong Christian foundation in your life. Mm -hmm. So yes, it plays a role in your life, Christian point of view. But I also believe we we cannot only rely on friends but also those people those adults who we think or maybe we choose them to be our role models what do you think about that uh you should not solely uh, rely on uh, people yes mm -hmm. because we also have our own challenges mm -hmm. yes people should be there to support us whenever when possible in terms of Christianity, but our main source of that uh, discernment or guidance should come from God, Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Trust me, whenever you invite God in whatever that you do, be it academically, be it spiritually, be it socially, you will never go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, allow, let us allow ourselves God to guide us through. Okay. Let's listen to the voice of God. Remember, the voice of God tends to whisper. And it usually comes the first voice that we usually hear when we want to do something. Mm -hmm. And the voice of Satan tends to come with uh, waves, a lot of waves. Mm -hmm. So you find that most of the people, we as human, we tend to fall in, a, in that trap of the Satan voice with the waves of earthly. So we find that we are in long places. And we have listened to voice of God, which, which comes first and also whispers, we find that we will have not gone astray. We will have gone as per the will of God and ended up in the light relationship that is socially, ended up in the light 
profession that is uh, uh, career wise or professional and also spiritual then we won't go along so mr tola do you have anything more to add on to this uh, up to that point i think um uh, i don't have much to say uh, thank you so much uh hope whatever that we have shared here today you learn a lot from that from that uh video thank you so much well a lot has been said about discernment the question is how do you make decisions in your life how do you discern we as mku ycs we have decided to discern before making uh, decisions both in all aspects spiritually socially uh, academically politically and all those what have you decided for you to learn more for you to give us your comments you can visit this youtube channel mku ycs speaker like comment share subscribe give us your take let us receive it let us answer to it let us know what you want us to talk about give you answers and maybe if we do not have them invite you to our platforms thank you very much for listening to us bye Bye.